vehicles. The heavy-duty transportation sector is way behind. That's because batteries don't have enough juice to power trucks and ships. So researchers are turning to ammonia for a potential solution. Diana Olick joins us with the details on her continuing series on clean startups. Hi, Di. Hey, Ty. Yeah, heavy-duty trucking alone accounts for almost a quarter of all greenhouse gas emissions from transportation. Now, batteries can't replace diesel, but new technologies with ammonia are emerging, and big money is pouring into the startups at the helm. From tractors to trucking to shipping, ammonia may be the answer to a clean energy future. Companies like Man Energy Solutions, Wartzilla, and Brooklyn-based Amagi, founded in 2020, are working on it. Our proprietary technology enables very efficient and effective conversion of ammonia to hydrogen so that you can use that process on board in the vehicle to produce hydrogen and then use that produced hydrogen to run the vehicle using the fuel cell. Amagi just tested its technology on a semi-truck and has already made it work on a John Deere tractor as well as a drone. The next step is clean shipping and a tugboat. We are partnering a lot with the industry stakeholders in shipping and heavy manufacturing and heavy industries. So certainly the collaboration is the key to scale the new technology like ours. Amagi's investor, Saudi Aramco, is one of the largest petroleum producers in the world, but sees ammonia as part of its future. It's going to be a growing market for in a carbon-constrained world. Uh, such products are going to be more valuable, and the market for that and demand is going to go rise. So we've, we see this as a very positive from our shareholders' perspective. In addition to Saudi Aramco, Amagi is backed by Amazon's Climate Pledge Fund, AP Ventures, SK Innovation, and DCVC. Total funding, $70 million. As of now, the process is more expensive than just using diesel, but the saving to the environment is really what's at play here, of course. The hope is that when this scales su sufficiently, the costs will come down. Back to you guys. Oh, wow. Diana, thank you very much. Diana Olick.